You know what's funny? I remember I used to do YouTube back in high school. I used to just walk around and just film myself. And the vlogs, I'm not gonna lie, were so boring. But I would go out and just find new areas of film and just kind of like, you know, keep areas in mind to like, you know, shoot pictures. But I'm gonna go up there. I'm gonna see what the view is up there. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. I think my number one fear is heights. And I don't think I can go down there all by myself. This is so scary to me. I think it'd be so sick for a photo shoot though. It's 1230. We're playing soccer tennis. It closes at like 11. So. We're leaving early because we're not supposed to be here and everyone's probably trying to sleep so it was fun it's currently the next morning it is like 7 45 i'm getting ready to get my hair done for some reason recently my hair has been like almost like brown like a light brown like there's really like no blonde anymore so we're going back to the day one i literally just got my car clean not even 12 hours ago and it's already looking like this So I just got my hair done. I went with just a little bit of a highlights. I didn't want to go all blonde because I didn't want to go all blonde and then like my beard ended up being like a brown type color. I just went with the blonde highlights. You guys probably can't see because of like the, the shadows and stuff, but like it's kind of like a little light touch. So it's gonna be blonde again. I like it, looks good. Fire. A couple of days ago, I put on my Instagram story to have you guys ask me some questions. I'm just gonna read through a few of them and I'm gonna answer the questions on here. So I've only read a few of them. I haven't read them all yet. I should say thank you guys so much for asking the questions on Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, it's just lucas.bowerin. Favorite memory with the gang? I'm not gonna lie, tour this last summer was super fun. There's a lot of cool adventures, a lot of cool memories. Have you felt more like yourself since you found Jesus? If I'm being honest, I give all my credit to God. And when I wasn't saved, I wasn't being myself. I was, you know, dressing very differently. I was always very negative and I just didn't really feel like myself. I think a main reason why I was feeling very like not myself anymore because I was very lost in who I really was. And it was really hard for me to try to find who I really was. And I feel like now since I found God, I feel like more of myself. I'm being more positive. I have a way better view on life, the blessings that he has given me. And I just want to praise him for all that he's done and he's not done working. So I'm really excited to see where his blessings take me. Have you ever felt God's presence in science? If I can think of one scenario that I really felt God's presence was I went to church back home with my family for Thanksgiving. Like I said, I was very depressed. I was very lost in who I was. I was very broken and was dealing with a lot of anxiety. And I felt like there was no hope into me even coming back to being myself again. And I just felt like life was done. It's kind of crazy. The message our pastor spoke about was like, if you feel lost, if you have no hope, like it was literally like a copy and paste of what I was going through. It was almost like God was calling me to like, this is where you need to be right in here and right now. And I felt his presence then and there. I was like, there was a weight lifted off my chest and to give me hope that if I turn to God, everything will work out in the end. And ever since then, God has come through. When did you start recording and why? For those of you guys who don't know me, I used to play baseball my whole life. Baseball was my number one passion. I love playing baseball. I tried for my high school team, freshman and sophomore year. I got cut on my freshman year and I just kind of like lost hope. You know, that's like my, that was my dream from you know, when I was young, I feel like everyone's dream when they're young is to become a professional player. Before then, I was watching vlogs on YouTube. I was watching people making fun videos. And it wasn't until um, I got cut again my sophomore year from baseball that I really picked up my phone and started filming videos. I started making vlogs. And then I eventually bought a camera for myself. And I eventually started, you know, trying to reach out to other brands, other companies. And again, I would do it for free because I was trying to learn and I was trying to gain experience. And ever since then, I've loved filming. <coughs> What's some advice for breaking away from secular music? And like I said with my previous videos, I'm not saying I disregard, I don't like rap. I feel like rap nowadays, it revolves around, you know, drugs, money, sex, girls. I actually didn't want to have my mind set on those things when I start my days. So I try to turn to, you know, Christian music. That's really helped me, you know, when I start my days and I go out for drives. I even go to the gym and I even work out to Christian music. But I suggest you listen to happy music, stuff that gets you more in a positive mindset and good things and good values on life. What's the biggest thing you're looking forward to accomplishing this year? Starting my clothing brand, something I've always wanted to do for years. This draws back before high school. I've always loved clothes. I've always loved merch. I've always loved just, you know, fashion in general. And I just want to be able to spread positive messages throughout my clothes. How do I overcome social anxiety and confidence? I'm just scared. Last year I was dealing with a really bad anxiety 
and I really didn't experience my first um, anxiety attack until I think it was October. I just feel like life was just kind of going down and down and down. I didn't know where to go. I didn't know who to talk to. And I just remember one night I was going out on a drive and I was listening to Christian music. And I remember I just prayed, you know, I prayed for just to, for God to, you know, kind of get rid of my anxiety, depression, just kind of like, just take the weight off my shoulders and have him be all in control. What is your favorite Christian song so far? I don't really have one song that I really enjoy, but I do have a Christian Spotify playlist that you guys can check out on the link below. Just thought I'd answer a few of the questions. A lot of the questions were the same, but those are all the questions I could answer. I've been wanting to make a home studio for the longest time. And I know you guys can't see, but we have a backdrop and like two stands. So we have a whole like, kind of like half of it done. Today, I finally went out. Got the lights, got the stands, so like everything's ready to go. Kyle's gonna film his YouTube videos here soon, over here, so I don't wanna mess up any of that. So I'm gonna set it up over here. I'm gonna go through what I have right now. I picked up two of these. This is the Amaron 200X. And what's cool about this, I'm able to download an app called Sidus Link, and I'm able to control the brightness, the color, like the color temperature, not like the color, because I think you have to get a different light bulb for that. I got two domes for these lights. Uh, one small dome and one really big dome and I have two stands over there that I set them all up on So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox all this stuff and I guess I'll get to going I never tried to like follow instructions. I don't know why um, I think I just like to think I know what I'm doing But half the time I am doing something wrong or I just don't know even how to do it So I think with this one I'm supposed to like move this side like to go like this Okay, they need like two people on here, bro. Sometimes I like to think I can do things by myself, but half the time I need like an extra hand and of course no one's here, so. I'm super excited to start this photography studio and just kind of learn lighting. I think it's something cool to learn. I like to be learning a lot of things, which is trying new things. And one big thing I really want to learn this year is lighting and I'm super excited I got this. And eventually I'm gonna get like some battery pack to where I can take this outside and shoot pictures. I probably won't show you guys the updated studio in this video, but just know maybe in a future video or even the next video, I'll do a little photo shoot, a little behind the scenes what we have going on over there but right now Kyle is about to shoot his videos for YouTube I'm super excited for his journey on YouTube if you guys haven't watched his videos go check him out right now I'm gonna go do this other light um, off camera and I'll get that all set up thank you guys so much for watching the video hope you guys enjoy if you guys haven't already subscribed hit the subscribe button make sure you guys go like this video and I'll see you guys hopefully in a week sorry I was kind of slack in the past couple weeks but new video next week Stay